Hey, good day, guys. So, um, yeah, this time I'm going to show you a uh, war which we had against... Uh, what's their name again? Let me check. Over. And this war in particular I want to show you because these guys are probably XMOD users. And the reason why I think that is because... I'll show you why. Now, at the bottom, they have one, two, three, four bases, which are actually Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8. And we ourselves had three bases, which were, uh, well, actually two bases, which were Town Hall 9 and 7, I think. So what we really noticed was, uh, in the beginning of the war, we had attacks against us like this. This guy has 15 archers, 21 uh, giants, and 15 wizards, and this guy attacks for like 2 seconds, and that's all. I mean, what the hell is that? Isn't that like registering the base in XMOD or something? I don't know, but it really seems like it, because that's not the only time they did that. Uh, for example, on me, okay, this guy has a bit more uh, troops with him. Maybe it's because he doesn't want uh, to be that obvious um, discovering a base, but why as a number 18 in your clan with a Town Hall 9 would you attack me? I mean, I have a pretty much maxed out Town Hall 11 base. Why the fuck would you attack me? No clue. So like, one minute fight, everything gets raped right here. And as you can see, well, it's pretty obvious. And Supercell, come on, do something about this, because we won this war, but I can imagine many clans losing wars because of shit like this. Just to be clear, I want to show you two more. Right, they're number 19, three archers, one wizard, and a level 8 king. That's all he takes, and four seconds to go, and bye-bye attack. So what is this? Is this a attack? Is it anything according to me I think they're registering for uh, for some third-party application no clue because none of us has ever used it and we have just been told uh, that this could be cheating so uh, okay well I'll show you one last one because look at this guy he has 21 uh, giants etc etc and this attack takes five seconds that's all so what the fuck is that so yeah, we were quite upset that we had to play against cheaters again. But I really hope uh, Supercell does something about this. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you the first attack, which is actually of value in this war, because these cheater attacks, well, I'm not going to show you a single attack of Overt, because cheaters don't deserve a spot on YouTube. So tanks attack on their number 12. So a, uh, not even a totally maxed out Town Hall 10 base, but uh, quite upgraded, okay. And as you can see, Tank, uh, well known for his uh, 12 uh, Earthquake spells, just, you know, goes in and rapes the shit out of this base. As you can see, all the Earthquakes used here, all the paths are open, and all the Witches are being deployed. So the Multi-Inferno having zero chance against all these Skeletons. Uh, the Warden skill used early on... Town Hall gone down, first Inferno down, second Inferno down right now, and actually his queen is still at full health together with his warden. So as you can see, nothing uh, nothing to stop tank here. So our extra three star attack was uh, was a fact here. So awesome to know that we had an extra advantage. Sure, we had the advantage of having two non Town Hall 10 or 11 bases and they had four. But this was the extra insurance we had. So next up, I'm going to show you the attack. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you Dent's attack. He was very proud of his first three-star in Wars. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> taking on this Town Hall 8, I think, or 7, not even sure. And uh, I was actually surprised that, um, uh, that Den went for this target. But someone's got to take this target down. But I was also surprised that, uh, as you can see here, Den didn't go all out. At least, I think he didn't. Let me see. Because he still has some troops. <laughs> and I think he lost like one or two troops <laughs> during this attack. So, uh, well done, Den. Uh, good job. Really proud of you. 
So the next attack, uh, I'm going to show you a mule's attack on their number three. So number three has a anti three star, maybe even anti two star these days base. Uh, town hall not centered. The artillery is centered, and so is the clan castle. And as you can see, Emil goes in with earthquake spells on the side, and uh, puts the shitload of troops on the same side right here. The town hall goes down pretty easily, 36%, and he actually does the queen walk from the other side. Now the queen walk isn't always effective, but in a case like this, where the percentage is required because you know the rest is going to pretty much get raped on this side, uh, the percentage is required here. The queen just goes on and does the extra damage right here down south. So as you can see, uh, the queen going, uh, taking the extra buildings out, the healers are getting shot down by the anti-air, and the queen skill has been used but nothing attacking the queen till now. And the queen takes down the last building, a nice 63% by Emil. So the next, next attack, I'm um, going to take a look here. Um, I'm not going to show you my attacks this war, I think, because I pretty much sucked here. Uh, but a few other guys did not suck. And I would like to show you Bart's attack. Oh, well, here it is. Bart's attack on their number 9. Also a... Well, you could call it a anti three star base, and as you can see here, uh, boss goes in with a go whiz combination, and uh, he just you know spreads out his troops really nicely. A few golems here, few golem here, golem here, and uh, too bad he didn't put any support in here because he could have taken a few more percentages. Ah, oh, there come his wizards. In the meanwhile, queen nicely going to the town hall, perfectly done, and the queen has been directed the right way. And because of that, Bart gets a easy 52% here, takes down a few more buildings right here, and he tries to take down a few more buildings right here. So, uh, yeah, in the end, a pretty neat attack, 56% by Bart, so uh, really nicely done, Bart. That's how you take down a anti-3 star, maybe anti-2 star uh, Town Hall 11 base. The next attack I'll show you is gonna be, uh, let me see, is gonna be Hapo's attack. Um, Hapo has uh, has got the new warden at level nine. He goes in with ten witches and uh, some earthquake spells, as you can see, uh, eight earthquake spells to take down two sets of walls, and he's just gonna go all in with everything he has from here. So as you can see, puts his wizards in, clears the sides, so the, the witches go to the center, and the heroes go to the center as well, together with the golems. Well, perfectly done. So far, so good. Everything's going nicely. His maxed heroes, well, at least almost maxed heroes, are doing their work properly. And as you can see here, uh, the queen does some crazy, insane fucking damage in the middle there. So 52% by Hans. Uh, nothing extra, nothing too little. Perfect attack here. That's all we needed at that moment. Then I'm going to show you Wout, uh, Wouter's attack. Uh, as you can see here, uh, another anti-3 star slash 2 star layout. Don't exactly know how to call this. But uh, he's going to start with the minions and the sides. Uh, going to take some free percentages, as you can see here. As you can see here. Right there. And right there. And uh, this attack is going to start as soon as a few of those side buildings go down. As you can see, the clan castle has been lured here. Uh, after luring the clan castle, he still has a few minions left, takes down the Lava Hound. And as you can see, uh, standard procedure for Bauti here, he is going to clear out the, the bullshit first, and then he's going to go in with the rest of his troops. So as you can see here, uh, everything that gets deployed on this side, uh, he's planning on going to the clan castle, uh, sorry, to the town hall as soon as possible, which is quite logical in a situation like this. And because of the minions, he gets a pretty neat 53% on this attack. So, uh, well done there. And let's see, uh, the next attack I'd like to show you. I just saw it right before. And that was, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, Yaumus, uh, here we go, Yaumus attack on their number four. As you can see, Another base like that. Most of them had bases like these. And Yaume, uh, he also starts off with the free buildings to the sides. 
And according to our uh, Messiah clan leader, uh, smart players always take out the free buildings first. Actually, it's just a Dutch guy who loves free stuff, so yeah. So as you can see here, uh, Yao may listen to uh, Den, and he's actually doing quite nicely on the extra percentage. He's got 19% before he goes in with his troops. That means that he just needs to do a little damage after the town hall goes down to get the two star safe and sound. As you can see here, the clan castle not getting attacked by the queen, which is perfect in a situation like this. So the queen can just go all out attack on the buildings. So that's Yama's attack. And uh, the last attack I will show you for today is going to be, let's see, is going to be Yama's second attack on their number one. Which is quite nice because the number one had defended quite some attacks. And it's not like this base is that easy. It's a pretty packed max Town Hall 11 base with the Warden at level 20. So gonna fast forward through this one as well. As you can see the Earthquake gets put, put in here and Earthquake gets used here as well. So the path is open to the middle. And as you can see he first has a small squad team taking out that Hound there middle of the base, then he puts in his heroes. Heroes go towards the middle, and as you can see here, he's still got a lot of troops alive when the town hall goes down. So as you can see, 33% 30, even, and he still has a lot of troops alive and doing the extra damage for Yaume right here. So the queen is still going nicely, uh, getting attacked a bit now, but still has this, uh, the skill. A few witches here in the middle doing the extra damage, and as you can see, a easy two star for Yaume, and it was pretty awesome to see this attack because we cannot leave this number one of their clan, cheating clan, sorry, cheating clan, we cannot leave him unharmed. So he needs to go down two star as well. So yeah, I think uh, enough said because uh, these cheaters need to get uh, taken out of the game, they need to get banned and Supercell, please, please give this some attention because we hate to have opponents like this. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.